blue and yellow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I bet their Picoville is going to be pretty much I down know. for the next a eight bit, months. You know, a big difference, big cut. Yeah. We're hey, listen, big difference tomorrow. 523 tomorrow afternoon. We'll be in winter. 524. We're going to be in spring. And I'm looking forward to that Thursday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't degrees. give it too much away just yet. <laughs> we still have a weather cast to get through. No, uh, seriously, it's going to be a much warmer week than it was this past week. It's like it knows the season, right? As we walk over to the wall, we're checking out Camelback tonight. It has been a pretty cold Sunday this last full weekend, last full day of winter. Now we're going to warm things up starting tomorrow. Let's start off right off the top with what we're tracking. The winds are finally subsiding. Right, that's good news. We were gusting over 35 miles per hour today. We had some fire danger for New Jersey. Thankfully, the red flag warning has now been lifted. Monday, lots of sunshine, midweek warmth. Yeah, as Aziza teased, we're going to be near 70 degrees, but along with it, a chance for a little bit of rain, which we're going to go over for you as well. Right now, the clouds and radar, not a whole lot of anything. In fact, nothing on the radar, hardly anything on the clouds. From the shore to the city to the mountains, we are high and dry tonight, and that means that clear skies will lead to mostly sunny skies as we wake up throughout the day tomorrow. Here's the feels like temperatures. If you have to go outside, let's say you're walking the dog, watch the weather, watch the news, and then walk the dog one more time tonight. Look at this. This is what it feels like. 22 Wilmington. 26 Philly, 30 in Reading. Make sure everybody's all bundled up, covered up. It feels like winter out there. Technically, it still is. Then we get into Monday and we start off with sunshine. It is a nice start to the day. Chilly, but you're going to quickly notice the warmth. By noon, we'll already be well into the 40s, much warmer than we were today for a high temperature. We only made it to 40 in Philly, but good luck even feeling like that. By the end of the afternoon, spring begins at 524 and we'll be solid in the 50s. By Tuesday, we started all over again, back into sunshine in the morning, cool, not chilly. And then we're back into the 60s by Tuesday afternoon. So we are taking the cold air, we're sending it on north and east, and we're lifting this ridge of high pressure across, we'll say, the eastern third of the country through the next couple of days. It's going to push in the mild air, but it's also going to bring in a chance for rain by the middle of the week. Take a look at Wednesday, 5 o'clock. We'll have some showers rolling in. Thursday, kind of damp and dreary as well. And then for Friday, another chance for some showers, especially just to our north. Now, that said, Despite all this, it's still going to be warm. In fact, by Thursday and Friday, we could be pushing nearly 70 degrees. Tomorrow, baby steps. 53 degrees, sunny skies, much milder on your first day of spring. The next seven-day forecast look like this. 61 on Tuesday, a late shower Wednesday. It will be mostly cloudy but dry. 70 on Thursday, a couple of scattered showers into your Friday. And for the weekend, we start things off with a leftover drop or two Saturday. Back to 60 and sunshine on Sunday. Overall, Aziza, a very spring-like forecast just in time for the start of spring tomorrow. I am loving it. Thank you, Andrew. Many music lovers are